Going to school and being a graduate does not guarantee certain things, whereby being a creator on YouTube we will teach you a lot of things that school would never teach you. Nowadays, YouTube is gradually becoming most people's only source of income. Apart from the financial aspects, there is no such thing as failing on YouTube. This journey and everything I'm doing here right now may seem like a very small part of my life, but I can tell you that it has had a very huge impact on me. I have always wanted to be a creator. I have always loved the camera, the film setup, and everything that has to do with video creation. But I never thought that I would one day be a YouTuber. Even though I loved watching other YouTubers and speaking to myself in the mirror, trying to imitate them, you know, the way they talk and everything the way they just do their thing i mean it looks like something i would enjoy doing i started off watching jackie aina dima Ume, and a lot of other wonderful creators on here on youtube so that kind of gave me a broader mindset of what creation on youtube was like but i still do create content on instagram and tiktok and the rest but there is nothing like youtube i went ahead to publish my first ever youtube video on the first 21st november 2021 Hi guys, welcome to Moments with Patrick Sinter and with me I have a very lovely special guest <laughs> and I have with me Jumana. <laughs> <laughs> that was about two years ago and yet it didn't even look like it was my first video on YouTube because the confidence was already there. But then again, I was inconsistent. I just posted that video and I disappeared. Before I embarked on this YouTube journey, I used to feel so lost. I wasn't sure about everything, my future, my purpose, my ambition in life. I just knew that I wanted to do something and I was just doing things, but I, I, was, I was just unsure about everything. In my head, I had a lot of ideas. I had a lot of things that I wanted to share with people, things I just wanted to talk about. I am I, I'm not one to like keep a lot of friends around me and all that. So I'm like, okay, why not YouTube? I could have virtual friends. We could just talk about these topics. Anything that comes to my mind, we could talk about it. And thank goodness, YouTube is a platform that allows creators to post long form content. And again, I can build my own community on here. So again, why not YouTube? So I started creating content and diversifying my content from Instagram to YouTube. And I started publishing more and more content on here. After posting about 10 to 20 videos, after being consistent with about 10 to 20 videos on this platform, YouTube has completely changed my life. Even though I have about 384 subscribers as of the time of filming this video. Hopefully one day my channel blows up and you enjoy watching me more often. But as for now, I am enjoying the process. Once I started creating content, I found out that this was something that I was truly passionate about. YouTube gave me a purpose. It helped me rediscover myself. I mean, it helped me discover the love that I have for just talking to myself, being more alone and spending time with myself and just talking with my camera. Even with 500 subscribers, I have built an incredible community of like-minded individuals who share my love and understanding for certain topics. Like they always say, you will always tend to find your crowd. Even though I don't have millions and thousands of subscribers on here, Anytime I post a video, I still see people who resonate with me, who understand my craft, I understand my emotions, and I can never get tired of saying how grateful I am for each and every one of my subscribers. Now, let me go deeper a little and share some of my insecurities with you. Or you know, on this channel, we keep it real, and I always tell you guys how I feel, and we walk through it together. Okay, okay. So before I started YouTube, I used to be so insecure about myself. Yes especially when it comes to putting my opinion out there and sharing my thoughts and my experiences with the world. Anyone who have ever thought to themselves, should I start a YouTube channel? Please go for it. You can never know until you try. Even if you don't have views, even if you have few subscribers, even if it's just your parents or your friends watching your channel, trust me, you'll see a drastic change in your life. That's exactly why I'm sitting here today telling you my own story because I have seen that drastic change hence the reason why i said there is no such thing as failing on youtube one thing about me on this channel i don't know if you've noticed is the fact that i love to carry anyone watching me along if something incredible happens to me or i learn a new strategy or i learn something new i tend to share it on here i remember being that girl that will always get bothered about what people think about me what do they perceive me as what are they saying i always want to be in their mind thinking what are they thinking <laughs> honestly that has stopped me from getting my opinions and my thoughts out there because i don't want anyone to criticize me or drop a negative comment or bash me for thinking the way i do i have always wondered am i going to be accepted in this youtube community are they going to understand me are they going to resonate with me will i have my own audience 
what will it be like you know worries and worries and worries all in my head i even worry about filming in public how am i going to film in public i'm just gonna be holding my phone hey guys welcome back to my channel and the worst thing is that people are gonna stare when they stare what am i gonna do how can i handle all this in as much as i love attention it leads to attention when i'm being given that attention i shy away because in as much as i'm confident i can be very shy i'm a very shy person so i don't like too much attention that's why i don't celebrate big birthdays and all that because on your birthday you're literally like the center of attention like everyone is just concentrating on you mm, i am very very shy so these are the things i was just wondering before i started my youtube channel and these are the fears that were just holding me back and just drawing me back and saying no don't pick up that phone do not record do not do this do not do that but I conquered it. When I started filming newly, I chased everyone away from the room or whatever space I am in. At that time, I'm like, please, can you just go? When I'm done filming, I will call you back in. Because I get shy because when I start talking, they tend to look at me and all that. And I'll be like, oh my God, okay, 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 okay. And honestly, you would get this a lot when you start filming new on YouTube because you are going to be shy. Imagine filming and people are just looking at you like, what's she talking about? What's she talking about? And all that you will get shy but you shouldn't let that stop you because as you can see in my own case i didn't let that stop me i literally chased everyone away from the room so i can film alone and just talk to you guys even talking to you guys right now you guys are not here but when i finish filming this video and editing and publishing and all that that is when you guys get to see the video so it's a different ball game so these are the things that i did for me to be more comfortable and more present in myself to be able to film but today as of date i can no longer compare myself to that cynthia patrick who used to be so shy and embarrassed to film in front of people i can no longer compare her to this cynthia that is here right now when you go back and you compare and contrast my old videos with the recent ones on my channel right now or this video you're going to notice is a very huge difference you will also observe an elevation when it comes to my self-confidence the way i speak and the way i comport and compose myself in front of camera and the secret to this confidence is not dependent on the fact that i said i was naturally confident even though that helped to a lot a lot but youtube like i said is a different ball game but the fact that i was consistent helps me become more naturally creative honestly this platform has helped me rediscover my creative side and yes i have always loved creating content whether it's through writing or art youtube has given me a new outlet to express myself and share my creativity with others it has taught me to become a better video editor a better script writer a better researcher and a videographer there is a lot that comes into this video that you're just seeing that you're going to watch after i finish filming editing and everything because i have researched then i film then i edit before i publish a lot that comes in place knowing your angle knowing things to do knowing a lot of things i tell you guys that's why i said at the beginning of this video once again that a lot of things that you don't learn in school there are some people creating content here editing videos and all that who studied law like they didn't teach them this in school but they just learned it so there's a lot of things that youtube is gonna teach you and again if you're someone that love learning like me i love to gain like i love to know new things like they say there is no too much no such thing as too much information or too much knowledge right so i went ahead to study digital marketing and social media marketing because yes i needed to know what is happening here on youtube what is thumbnail what is tied to what is tag tag and what is all that and let's find out what youtube was all about and earlier on i was just posting content for just posting sake because this was something that i enjoyed doing Ugh. This was something that I enjoyed doing. It was just like a passion for me. And yes, we all need to have three hobbies. One that keeps you in shape, one that makes you money, and one that keeps you creative. And YouTube actually solved two of that for you. It can help you become more creative and at the same time can help you with your income. The growth and development I've experienced since starting my channel have been incredible. These developments and growth I'm talking about have actually shifted towards many areas in my life. Such as paying more detailed attention to the things that really matters in my life. It has helped me become more knowledgeable in areas that i never thought that i would have interest in or i will have time for there is no how you will tell me that you create content online you research you script you publish and you do all this yourself and you are not learning one or two every day you learn new things like now i'm gonna watch this video again after i finish editing and everything and i'm going to say okay hmm 
Cynthia, the way you were doing your hand, your hand movement was not really given. Maybe you need to change that. You need to do this. You need to do that. So I constantly look for the problems in my videos and I try to eradicate them. Things I used to be so shy to acknowledge, I now acknowledge them and I try to change it or try to be better. It has also helped me to take bolder steps and also enjoy spending more time alone and enjoying my own company. And also accepting the fact that everything don't have to be perfect, including me, including you. I don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. That video don't have to be perfect. Your first video don't have to be perfect. Mine wasn't neither. YouTube has helped me understand the fact that everyone has a unique perspective to contribute to life. Everyone has something unique to bring to the table, just that you haven't noticed yours yet. And yes, whenever people or anyone just send me a message and be like, oh, Cynthia, I love that last video you posted. It was amazing. It was nice. I enjoyed it. I mean, it means a huge deal to me that someone loves my video and I appreciate that. Let me know in the comment section if you love this video. Just tell me and say, oh, I love this. So please let me know in the comment section what you love about this video right now. It could be anything. It could be this chair. It could be the flower. It could be my hair. It could be my eyes. It could be anything. This platform has offered me a huge chance to connect with a larger audience, even at 380 something subscribers. And how can I forget to mention about the financial aspect? Yes, it can be a great source of income. So it's a very good side hustle. For most people on here, this is actually their only job and they live fine. They pay their rent, they eat their food and shop, do whatever they want. So YouTube is actually, like I said, slowly becoming most people's profession. One of those days when we used to be so shy to press our phone or to say, oh, I'm a YouTuber or I'm a content creator, gone are those days. Nowadays, you have to be proud if you're one. It is something worth being proud of. But when you're just starting out new and making money is like your sole purpose, no, you might just get bored and you might also give up. And that honestly means that YouTube is not for you and YouTube is not for everyone. So don't beat yourself up about it. When you're doing it because you genuinely love creating content, that's when it becomes fun for you. That's when you will genuinely see changes. And as your channel grows, YouTube will grow mentally. I didn't need millions of subscribers to learn all this. That's how YouTube can change your life with less than 500 subscribers. And also making videos have been a way for me to store and save memories as vlogs. So even though I have less than 500 subscribers i am excited to see where this journey takes me to if you enjoyed today's video i will plead with you to please sit up stand up and make that video and i hope to see you on the next video do make sure to click on any of the videos you see on the screen right now